Well, Steve, first of all, a 2 0 loss tonight for you. So, just how good a workout was it there for you? Lads? Very, very good. You know, we know it's going to be hard. We're not, not going to get much, uh, much of the play. Um, you know, what we've got to learn from is when we do get it, we've got to keep it better. But you're against championship and international players, and, you know, I've come off with a lot of positives again tonight. Um, you know, when you're driving over, you're thinking we could be Sky Sports News where the writing, the figure, and the scoring. Um, with recent results we've had, but no, our lads are quitting themselves really well, and I'm pleased for them. And as players, these are the sort of games you want to play in. You know, we're grateful for Leeds United bringing what they did. You know, the first team, and also the crowd, because you know, this is what non-league's about, and we need these sort of games. And you know, I'm, I'm more than grateful for what Leeds United have done for us tonight. And uh, you know, hopefully it'll stand us in good stead for the season. Picking out one player who really stood out, goalkeeper Ross, I mean, just some fantastic saves throughout the whole game. Exactly, yeah, you know, and uh, he's got experience at Conference North level. He's been obviously at Forest as a kid and, you know, he's been highly recommended to us and since he's come in, he has done well. Still, still a bit of work to do, he's kicking, etc. Um, but you know that's not fault of his or Lewis, the other keeper, because we haven't really got a target man to you know up there that's going to be physically winning. So it, it looks bad on a keeper when he's kicking it; it's coming straight back. But you know, please for him. Both keepers did some good saves tonight, and uh, he's also a talker and a leader. So you know, it's a massive signing for us. Looking at it as well, you've got quite a few games still in pre-season, but is it a case that some will be youth teams and then you'll also have games where it is trials? Yeah, definitely. We've got another one at Barton tomorrow night where we'll just send the kids and you know a couple of lads who played the odd minute or two tonight. But it's gradually getting them. You know, look, they're nearly, nearly enough got 90 minutes, some of the players tonight, um, pushing on towards 70 plus now. Now we've got another game on Saturday. They'll get rested up for that one, but... You know, I'm getting more positive uh, each game, you know, like I say, we're starting to address what we want, we're experimenting, and that's what pre-season's about, you know, results sometimes, yeah, good habits, but pre-season for clubs like us, you know, is experimenting, from a coach's point of view, is experimenting in different formations, but, you know, getting money in for the club, for, for games like that, that, that's what this club is about, and non-league is about and like I said I can't thank Leeds United enough for, for what they did tonight for, for us. And of course we're not that far now until the start of the season yeah. and you know it's going to be such a competitive league isn't it? It's going to be a tough tough league you know you've got a lot of full-time teams in and you know it's it's not out with the August 5th kickoff because we've had to cram it it's like you've had no break the players and you know this is why we've arranged so many fixtures just to help the young lads get into men's football as well but you know, we've crammed as many games as we can just to make sure we're ready for 5th of August. You know, it's the first time I've known it to, to kick off so early. And as a part-time team, we've got to cram everything we can as quick as we can to make sure we're ready for the 5th. So, you know, we're not a million miles away. And like I say, a lot more positives after the last two games. And just finally then, in terms of the trialists, when will the decision be made up? Or is it a case of, you know, you've got a set date or is it a case-by-case -case basis? There, there's, I just spoke to a couple there. Um, you know, I, I can't say what I've signed them for, but it's unbelievable. You know, so um, delighted to get them on the board. So I'll be announcing them probably by the end of the week. They've agreed the terms that I've, uh, I've thrown at them. Um, you know, it's a big whack and fries each week for them, so they're, they're signing on for that. Um, but. By the end of the week, we should have three or four more new signings that we, we can announce. They've definitely agreed terms tonight, and we'll get them on board.